Today in Madden 23, we have a 32-team March Madness tournament. The seeding for this tournament will be based off of record for the 2023 NFL season and how good the team did in the playoffs. For example, the Vikings had a 13-4 record and the Giants went 9-7-1, but because the Giants beat the Vikings in the playoffs, the Giants will be a higher seed. This tournament will continue until we have one team remaining that will be crowned the March Madness champion for Madden 23. And here is the bracket, which we're going to be updating game by game, round by round. There's going to be five rounds in total. We're starting in round one with all 32 teams. And like I explained, the way this was seeded was based off standings and then playoff performance. The longer the team lasted in the playoffs, the better seed they are, with the Chiefs obviously being the number one seed after winning the Super Bowl. And the team with the higher seed will have home field advantage for that specific matchup, but the finals will be at a neutral field in the Super Bowl. And in the first game of March Madness, if you can believe this, the Cinderella run is about to start with the Chicago Bears, the number 32 two seed are going to knock off the Super Bowl champs, the number one seed here in the playoffs. The Kansas City Chiefs, the Bears have knocked them out 24 to 16. I did not see that coming. Let me know in the comments down below if you saw that one coming. Can the Bears go on a crazy Cinderella run to maybe the Final Four or even win this March Madness tournament? Next up, we have the Steelers versus the Commanders. And we had a great game between the 16 and 17 seed. And as long as the Commanders let the time tick down, they're going to come into Pittsburgh, win this game, triple zeros on the clock. They're going to fill the goal at the end, and the Commanders are are moving on next up we're going to jacksonville for jaguars versus falcons and it looks like we're finally gonna have a team defend home field as the jaguars with three seconds left zero seconds left they are gonna beat the falcons in an offensive shootout 41 to 31. Next up, we go to Minnesota for Panthers Vikings. And this game is a blowout. Not even close. The Panthers in Madden simulations, for some reason, are so good. They come into Minnesota. Another upset in this tournament so far. They destroy the Vikings. 37 to 7. Next up, we're going to have the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Indianapolis Colts. The Bengals are in victory formation. One more snap will do it in another high scoring game. The Bengals are going to knock off the Colts. 42 to 32. Next up, it's the Seahawks and the Jets. The Jets are down 11. This game's pretty much over. It's fourth and 10. They have 50 seconds left. Three timeouts. Hold on a second, Mike White to Elijah Moore. We could pretty much just simulate, I think, super sim wise. 11 seconds left, three seconds left. They do score a touchdown. They do get the two point conversion, but they don't have time to get the ball again and get a field goal, so they're out. Up next, it's going to be the Bills versus the Denver Broncos. We have had a lot of crazy upsets already in this tournament, and here's another one Broncos country, let's ride. Russell Wilson goes into Buffalo and puts up more points in this one game than he did the entire season to beat the Bills. Final game of the top half of the bracket is Dolphins versus Browns. Another home team is going home. The Browns are in victory formation against the Dolphins in one of our lower scoring games of the first round. They win it 13 to 12. Out to the bottom half of the bracket, we start off with Eagles Texans. The Eagles may lose to the Texans down three points, fourth and four, 30 seconds left. But luckily, Zach Pascal can make a catch and they get a timeout. I truthfully do not know how to describe this tournament so far. None of these favorites can win. There's a catch for Devontae Smith. Can they get the touchdown with 18 seconds left? Here we go. We're going to super sim overtime here. The Eagles are going to start it off or the Texans are going to start it off with a field goal. And who won this game? The Texans won it. Madden was saying the Eagles were driving down the field, but it was actually the Texans and the Eagles could not answer and the Texans are moving on. You can't make this up. Another favorite goes down and now we have Lions Packers in a very entertaining NFC North matchup here in this tournament. It's 34-31 Packers. Rodgers on third and 10 is going to throw a first down ends it. How about a touchdown? Alan Lazard and this one could be over. Let's just confirm by skipping to the end and the Packers win it 41 to 31. Next it'll be the Giants hosting the Raiders. The Giants have dominated the Raiders. This game was not close at any point. Daniel Jones, the Giants, Brian Dayball, Saquon Barkley. They'll be going to round number two. They beat the Vegas Raiders 31 to 10. Next up is going to be Raven Saints. Back-to-back -back super not competitive games. The Saints didn't get blown out like the Raiders did, but the Ravens still wind up winning this game by 13 points. Maybe the Ravens will pay Lamar Jackson if they win this March Madness tournament. Next up is 49ers Cardinals. The one of the two seed are out, so the 49ers are the top seed remaining. And once again, a top seed in the NFL 
in this tournament has a chance to get knocked out on fourth and 10. 50 seconds left. Brock Purdy off his back foot, tipped and actually caught by George Kittle. That is unbelievable. I thought their season was over right there, but they actually still have a chance. Not much of one though. Only 18 seconds left. Again off the back foot. And there's the interception ended. And it looks like it's gonna go for six. Insult to injury right there for the 49ers. And another top seed is going home. This is crazy. We have three games remaining in the first round. And next, it's gonna be Tom Brady versus former team. Tom Brady is a first down away from knocking out his former team. 21-14. One first down will do it. A play action. Brady gonna throw. He has Cameron Brate. No more timeouts for New England. And Tampa's moving on. Next, we have the Cowboys versus the Rams, but the Rams are gonna be fully healthy. Fully healthy or not for the Rams. They cannot be the Dallas Cowboys. There's a minute 37 seconds left with one timeout for the Rams. Not quite victory formation, but pretty much gonna seal the deal here they're gonna give the ball to Zeke if he picks up a first down it's definitely over there's a seven yard run but this one's probably over anyway let's see if Zeke picks up the first negative two yard rush they can knee it out actually they can go victory formation and Dallas is gonna win 16 13 and our final game of round one is Chargers versus Titans so with about 40 seconds left we have a tie game but the Titans are looking to take the lead here with a field goal they're going to take all this time all the way down. They're going to kick the three, see if it's in. It is in, and now Justin Herbert's going to have about 35 seconds or so to tie it or win it. So fourth and 10 from their own 22, but with no timeouts, even if they pick up this first down. I don't know if they have time to get a field goal. So Herbert's just going to throw it downfield. He has a man one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, looking for Joshua Palmer. I don't think even if that was caught, they would have had time to spike it and kick three. The Titans are moving on. This round two is extremely interesting. So many favorites were knocked out. We have Bears, Commanders, Jaguars, Panthers, Bengals, Seahawks, Broncos, Browns, Texans, Packers, Giants, Ravens, Cardinals, Bucks, and Cowboys, Titans. And we are going to start round two off with Bears versus the Commanders. Well, the Bears had a good run, but their run ends here in Washington. 49 to 13. I still cannot believe they beat the Chiefs. Next, we're heading back to Jacksonville for Jaguars Panthers. A first down here for Jacksonville would end this game. Let's see if they play conservative for three to take a four point lead. They are going to let Trevor Lawrence throw. Trevor Lawrence has a man. It's Evan Ingram and the Jags are going to barely beat Carolina 18 to 17. Next up is going to be Cincinnati versus Seattle. We had a lot of upsets in the first round, but so far in this second round, the favorites have owned it. The Bengals, the Defeat Seattle 38 to 17. Another blowout win for one of these favorites in round two. Next up, we head to Cleveland for Browns versus the Broncos. The Browns have dominated Broncos country. The Broncos are riding out of this tournament, but at least they won one game in an upset. But so far, these home teams in round two have been dominant. 38 to 3 Browns. Can Aaron Rodgers make a run in this March Madness tournament? He can't win another Lombardi, so this is the next best thing. But Aaron Rodgers could be going home in round two. The Texans could be the Cinder. Cinderella story of the tournament. They could be going to the Elite Eight if Aaron Rodgers cannot complete this pass and it's broken up. It is victory formation for the Houston Texans again. Next up, it'll be the Giants versus the Ravens. Lamar Jackson and the Ravens have beat the Giants 27 to 20. Lamar Jackson is making a statement here for the Ravens. He wants to get paid. He's going to the Elite Eight. Next up, we have Tom Brady and the Bucks versus the Cardinals. Tom Brady already has seven Super Bowl trophies. Now he's trying to add a March Madness championship to his resume. It's first and goal from the one. They give it to Rashad White, and he's going to be tackled at the line of scrimmage. But right back up to the line of scrimmage. Now second and goal. They have three points in their back pocket. Cardinals are going to have to take timeouts. This time, Rashad White touch down and now Kyla Murray and the Cardinals are down to their final play here it's fourth and 14 42 seconds they need a touchdown but first they need the first down Kyla Murray does have time to throw he's actually gonna run for it Kyler love to see it Madden logic right there and the Buccaneers are moving on and the final matchup of round number two Dallas versus the Titans and it looks like the Dallas Cowboys are gonna be the final team in round two to win they're able to beat the Titans 38 to 28 and now we have eight teams remaining we have some surprises we have the Texans the Commanders the Browns we have some favorites here as well 
who is going to be taking this. And we start off this Elite Eight round with Commanders versus the Jaguars. Third and eight from the 10-yard line. Trevor Lawrence looking for the end zone, looking for ETN. And that one's going to be broken up. I imagine they're going to take three. The Jaguars take three, and then an interception from Shaquille Griffin is going to set the Jaguars up in excellent territory to take the lead. Jaguars need seven now. They can't get conservative. They can't just keep giving the ball to ETN. They need a touchdown to take the lead. But now it's third and 13. I would imagine they're going to go for it on fourth down. A field goal doesn't do much. Why do they keep running into ETN? Throw the ball. And I thought the Jags were going to kick through on fourth and 14, but they actually take the lead with a Christian Kirk touchdown. So now this thing comes down to Carson Wentz who has first and 10 from the Jags, 46. He's got to pick up any yardage he can. He cannot get sacked, but that's exactly what happens. So now it's second and 14 from the 50-yard line. They just need a field goal to send this to overtime. A touchdown obviously would take the lead. Wentz again has time looking for the sideline. Pick up eight yards, that's a possible field goal. On the 42-yard line, though, it is going to be a long field goal. It's not going to be easy. They're going to run it. They're going to give it to Gibson to try to pick up any yards. He gets one, and now it's either field goal for overtime or the Jags are going to the final four. And here we go for either overtime or the Jags moving on to the next round. Kick is up. That has the leg. It is good. We have overtime. And let's see who wins it in overtime. I have no idea. That Super Sim went way too quick. But I think the Commanders got it. The Commanders look way happier. Yeah, they win 33-27. to And the Commanders are going to the Final Four. Next up is an AFC North matchup between the Bengals and the Browns. This game is 34-16. Bengals, I believe the Browns are just about to run out of time. 10 seconds left. Zero seconds left. And the Bengals, one of the teams I expected to be here, are going to the Final Four. Can the Houston Texans go to the Final Four? We'll have to see against the Ravens. The Houston Texans are on their way to the Final Four. Four, as long as Damian Pierce does not go in the end zone, Ravens have no more timeouts. They are down one point. A field goal here ends it. Here we go for the win. Texans, are you going to the final four? Kick is up. It's got to be good, right? It is good. And let's just make sure nothing crazy happens. One second left. Are the Texans moving on? They are. And our final game of this round is Buccaneers versus the Cowboys. We can go ahead. We can skip to the end of this game. First and 10 for the Cowboys. 28-14. Triple zeros. And Tom Brady gets his revenge for that final playoff game. And our final four is set. It's Commanders versus the Bengals and the Texans versus the Buccaneers. And since these are the final four games, the final four teams, we are going to super sim this one entirely live to see what happens. And right now, the Commanders have started off as hot as you can go because they are up 24 to 7 on the Cincinnati Bengals right now 24 10 Bengals are starting to come back don't choke this if you're the commanders the Bengals have tied it commanders make it 31 24 and I think the commanders have won this game 31 to 24 after they almost choked a 24 to nothing lead they are going to the championship the commanders were the number 17 seed the Texans are the number 31 seed. Well, we have a 17 seed versus 31 seed championship in this March Madness bracket. Or are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who were one of the top seeds in this tournament, go on to the championship? The Bucs made the playoffs, so they were in the top half of the seeds. It looks like the Texans might be going home, but hold on, I spoke too soon. Davis Mills has to tie this game up with 37 seconds left. There is still time for Davis Mills and the Texans to tie this game and send it to overtime down 30 to 23 20 seconds left second and five two timeouts left to the end zone it's Mills looking for his receiver and it's going to be broken up real quick everyone before we get back into the video only about four percent of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed if you're enjoying the content you're seeing make sure to subscribe to the channel but let's get back into the video here we go fourth and three nine seconds left one timeout they would have time for two plays but they have to pick up the first down first and Davis Mills is going to be picked off and this one might go for six. This is a way for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, though, to send themselves into the championship as Carlton Davis is going to pick that one off and take it back all the way to the house to end this game. And for the March Madness Championship, we have the Commanders, the 17th seed, versus the 14th seed Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we will start this off by jumping on the field for Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' first drive. We'll check out this first drive on defense for the Commanders, first drive on offense for the Buccaneers, then we're going into Super Sim mode. If you had these two teams somehow, in your championship bracket you are the best predictor of nfl games of all time both of these teams in the middle of the seating tampa was 14 commanders were 17 
Not to say they're bad teams by any means. Buccaneers made the playoffs this year. Commanders had a chance to make the playoffs if their QBs played a little bit better. The Chiefs got knocked out in round one. The Eagles got knocked out in round one. The 49ers. So many upsets early on in this tournament. Just crazy how this tournament ended up. We have a third and nine for Tom Brady. Let's get back on track here from the 42-yard line of the Commanders. Not quite in field goal range. And Sweat is going to take down Tom Brady. But now let's super sim this thing. Tampa, Commanders, 0-0. Commanders get the first touchdown. Brady answers with a touchdown, but they don't get the field goal after that. So it's 7-6, Commanders. Low-scoring Super Bowl. 14-9, Commanders. Into the fourth quarter we go. Commanders have the ball. Chance to make it a two-possession game. But Tom Brady takes the lead. We're in overtime right now. And the Commanders have taken the lead by three. If Tom Brady gets a touchdown, he wins. If he gets a field goal, he ties. Or if he gets nothing, they lose. But Brady's drive did not start off well. It's third and 19 from their own 28-yard line. He's the throw across his body. He has Russell Gage. He's going to make it a fourth and manageable here. It's fourth and nine. One play away for the Washington Commanders to be your March Madness champions. Who would have predicted the Commanders? Brady has time, fires, looks for Godwin, and it's broken up, incomplete. The Commanders have won this tournament. And of course, Madden froze, so I have to back out and go back in so we can get the Super Bowl animation. It looks like Carson Wentz was, in fact, the starter. Carson Wentz, talk about a story. He's not even on the Commanders anymore. Pretty sure they released him. He will not be the quarterback next year, but he leaves Washington with something for the fans to be happy about. Winning this March Madness Championship and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy with a Super Bowl win. Let's see it, Carson. Let's see it, Carson. And there it is. The Commanders win this thing. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, let me know what challenge, what video do you want to see next. Peace.